what I did when I started this business um, is, again, I, I was relatively disconnected from the end game, and that's really, really important. But when I started, a lot of people were like, well, why don't you contact, you know, the, the big names, Sylvia Brown and John Edward, and, and see how they do it. And I was like, well, why would I want to do it the way they do it, right? So, right. So you can look at how other people are doing something or what they're doing, but the fact is that's yesterday's news. If you want to be an innovator, don't worry about what was done or what's being done. Allow yourself to to shine and by looking at somebody else and and comparing to somebody else you're 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 making that you're putting a spotlight on them instead of yourself mm -hmm. they can't ever be you so it's about knowing your like that there's no other Gemma in the world right right, right. so I don't care how many other people do what I do they're never gonna do it the way that I do it right and I'm never right. gonna do it the way they do it two things really really impacted me I was watching some yoga documentary I don't even remember the name of it and there was this like like 750 year old swami guy in a diaper and he was like seemed like the happiest guy on the planet and some some woman asked him about i guess being himself being how are you so good with being yourself and he said well people are going to love you and people are going to hate you no matter what you do so isn't it better to be yourself and have somebody love you and hate you than be someone somebody else, else. And, right. have someone, and that really impacted right. me and the other thing was i heard tommy hilfiger who's I, I love his clothes, um, <laughs> so I was like, you know, listening. But he, I think he was on Oprah, and Oprah asked him, like, how did you attract an urban crowd? Uh -huh. He was like, I didn't attract an urban crowd. I made my clothes. They liked them. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then I started to kind of cater to them. Right. That, to me, is the most, like, is, is the epitome of authenticity. When you know you should say no, well, how do you get yourself to say no yeah. when you just have a hard time? Yeah, okay, so so two points. So I deal with a lot of people in Hollywood, and those people are very concerned with what everyone thinks of them. Right. So you do have to kind of get to the place where it's like, this is who I am, and too bad. But the thing about saying no is when you say no, you leave an opportunity for someone else to say yes, and you also, by closing that door, others will open in your favor. Right. If you're sending the energy out to the universe that I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're sending that energy out, you know, that I'll do anything, then you can't complain when the universe sends you anything. all the crap. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So, so it's like you have to think of the universe as a concierge, right? I said I like five stars. So I think of the universe as a concierge <laughs> that is writing down all my likes and all my dislikes and all the things I will and I won't do. Right. So as I go through the day, if I'm like, no, I won't do that. Yes, I will do that. It's like telling my assistant or the concierge, these are the boundaries that I have. And then the universe will present you with Tailoring. those things. Right. Yeah. And there's somebody out there that wants to do the other things. In my industry, right, a lot of people want confirmation that their deceased relative has crossed over. I do it well. Not my favorite thing to do. My favorite thing to do is inspire using your, your what I call people, spirit right. people. Because yeah. dead people is a creepy term. So yeah. I had right. to make it palatable, right? <laughs> So when you come to me, I will use your people uh -huh. to help you on your path. But the clients that come that just want to hear that they crossed over and they're good, there's someone else that right. will love to do that. Totally. So me saying right. no totally. means I give someone else an opportunity yes. and the client's happy. Yes. Right. So yeah. it's, you can't think of it as you're the bad guy. You're robbing, basically, when you're saying yes to an opportunity that you wish you could you're say no to. You're robbing two people. Three, because three, yes. you're robbing yourself. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because you're putting yourself in a place yes. that you shouldn't be in. You're robbing the person that should get the opportunity. Yes. And, and you're the robbing client. The, the client. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. So the more giving thing to do yeah. is, is know yourself and know your boundaries yeah. and not... Do, because did you ever get a gift from somebody that didn't want to give it to you, but they got it for you because it was your birthday anyway? Yes. Don't do it. Yeah. Like, I don't want that, right? Yeah. It's doing the same thing. You're not going to be 100% in if you feel like you're compromising yourself yeah. doing it. Yeah. Right. One of the hardest things, I think, for anybody that has their own business is to probably, like, slow down and make take like quiet time um, how important is that to getting better at listening to your own instincts because like you're imperative yeah imperative like if you don't quiet down okay how easy would it be for you to listen on your cell phone if I'm screaming in the background right right, right. you can't uh, hearing is it's from from another dimension which is where the guidance comes from 
is impossible. And it's a lot of the times why sometimes, you know, we get knocked in the knees to turn directions because our guides are really trying to get us there. And I mean, we live in New York City. You can't hear anything, right? right? So you have to take that time, one, to calm your energy. Because if your energy is hyped, you're not going to hear anything intuitively. Yeah. And, and calming your energy, slowing down your, your brain waves. And I've, I've done kind of research in this because if it doesn't make sense to me, I'm not telling my clients. Right. right? Mm -hmm. So that speaking to the being practical and yeah. that whole thing. There was, a, there was a truth to slowing down your brain waves yeah. and to redirecting them or just keeping them open yeah. to intuition. There's yeah. just, it's just science to that. I, and you know what's so interesting is like, I just, I can't believe he keeps coming up in this particular conversation, but like Preston Bailey as an example, <laughs> I, he has this ability, his energy is so calm that it actually, it's like a Moses in chaos. He can part a hectic, crazy water, it's like, right? He like brings this calm into a That's room. That's as simple so as he really, knows himself. Yeah, yeah. He knows himself, so no matter where you go, what you do, you can't get robbed yeah. if you know you. Yeah. And, and you've got to take time to get to know you the way you would to get to know somebody else, right? right. Like, I get to know my friends, I listen to them, I, I see what they like, what they don't like. I do the yeah. same thing with myself. Yeah. I think I a lot of people in myself. service businesses are really good at doing that with clients, but not necessarily that good at with doing themselves. it with themselves and their right. own business, right. right? Number one, don't listen to other people's opinions. The worst thing you can do is, is go jump to other people's opinions right away. Right. right. Because what you're doing is, there. I can give you an opinion, but I'm standing in my shoes right. giving it to you, right? right. And I'm, I'm talking about when I'm not connected. Well, you know what they say about opinions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're no, like, no, no. what? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so a lot of people, because they don't, they don't have confidence in themselves, they'll go, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Now you've got 2,000 ideas when you didn't sit with yourself for 10 minutes. When right. something comes, don't tell, I don't tell anybody when something comes up. Like when you guys asked me to be on this, yeah. I didn't tell anybody right yeah. away. I sat with it and I was like, that feels good. Yeah. yeah. And then if a thousand people are like, that doesn't sound good, I'm like, yeah. okay, then you don't do it. <laughs> yeah. But I know <laughs> what it felt like for me. And I tell people, carry a journal around. Yeah. And write your first gut down. That's how you practice. Yeah. I'm really curious, what's, that, what's the deal? Because I know a lot of women in business, a lot of women in the workplace have this issue with overly apologizing. Is that like a lot what of is women that in the world? world. Right. What yeah. is that like a result? Is there like is that like an instinct thing? Is that like a, a like a con like is there any energy? What does that thing? stem from? What I think it's nature from? and nurture. I think yeah. it's both. I mean, let's face it. Look around. Like our society yeah. is, it's so male dominated, yeah. Yeah. or at least was. It might be changing. Yeah. But you know, being when you're raised, you're raised. You don't even have a chance to formulate your own opinion before you're told this. You wear pink, right? Right. right? If right. you're a girl, wear pink. If you're a boy, right. wear blue. Right. So, and especially here, I yeah. think that we in America are further behind the rest of the world yeah. in those kind of things. Yeah. So I think it's a matter of you know being okay with the title, bitch, for a minute. If you're a woman, because yeah. that's you're gonna get boss if you're a man, and yeah. you're gonna get bitch if you're a woman, right? Yeah. And being okay with it knowing that as long as you're again authentic it's authenticity is everything yeah as long as you're authentic i don't run into that problem yeah you know why another thing is i don't expect it right it's also expectation apology means i'm doing something wrong but in being yourself you're not right 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 so it's like i don't care if you're male or female right be you right be you with no apologies and again there's the work there's yeah. where the work is 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 knowing yourself so as a female, you know, I, t I joke with a lot of my friends that are in business and I say to them, okay, you gotta go in there and be a dude. You can't go in, there's no yeah. problem in business. You can't go in there and take things personally. Yeah. You know, and, and I think growing up with five brothers, right. it definitely helped. And, and my father sometimes referring to me as the sixth son. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, I'll own it. I'm a little masculine. <laughs> but, you know, it's, I kind of tend to operate like that. Like yeah. if I'm in a business transaction, I get into an argument. Yeah. It's not a personal. We can yeah. go have a drink afterwards. 
So I think it's it's more that women have been expected to nurture. Yeah. And how do you go in and cut a deal right. while nurturing? Right. Sometimes it's in conflict yeah. with being nurturing. That's yeah. really interesting. So you don't. But that's partially why like you, you a lot of people can excel, especially in, I think in service businesses, at providing the service yes. really well, but yes. not necessarily in running the business and, as right. well. Right. Because they're different. They're, yeah, different. they're different. They're different skill sets. sets. They're, they're different huge different. Sets. Yeah. 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 The person that greets you yeah. is different than the one that runs the numbers. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Another right. thing I would suggest to people in business is know who you're putting in those positions. Right. Yeah. Right. It's, you know, sometimes it's just that simple. Yeah. I hate the business side of my work. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah. I know it because it's my business, but I don't, I'm not the one who runs it. Well, thank you so yeah. much, Gemma, for thank being you. with us. And Gemma can be found on Twitter at, you're at Live Light. Wait, what's your Twitter again? At, Gem at Gemma Della, or is it? I don't Gemma? know what my Twitter is. Okay. I know my website. LiveLifeAuthentic.com. <laughs> and she's got a great blog with tons and tons of good advice about tapping into your own intuition. And we are at BestiesInBusiness.com and on social media at BestiesInBiz with a Z. Thank you. Thank you.